what porting the cylinder head is, what it does, how it gets to that point, and some of the benefits of that, if you can. Sure. Well, the easiest way to uh, to look at that, the analogy would be uh, for somebody to go out to the uh, out for a jog. Let's jog around the neighborhood. And at some point, you're going to stop breathing through your nose and maybe open up your mouth and start breathing in more air. Well, imagine if we were to put a mask on you and force you to breathe through a drinking straw, you know, a straw like you would get in your, in your Coke from any fast food restaurant. Uh, you can imagine how you would struggle to get enough air in to, to keep up that jogging pace. Uh, now, if we remove that mask and allow you to breathe just freely, imagine how much faster and how much longer you can run. It's basically the same thing with an engine. Um, by porting the cylinder heads, we're increasing the efficiency of the cylinder head. We're allowing the motor to make better use of that air that the turbocharger is supplying. And that translates into not only power increases, but also mileage as well. Okay, so excellent. So it's, it's all about that mixture, right? Getting that mixture better and better? Right, yeah. It's all about uh, you know, making that mixture efficient, um, doing the best we can with what we have to work with. Okay, excellent. Well, great. Well, just a, a couple of other things. In closing, we want to talk about some of the new exciting products that you have out. On your site, you show that, that the stroker kits for the, the 7.1 liter stroker kits are coming out in March 2008. Uh, everyone's looking forward to that. Tell us a little bit of what's gone into that development and what some of the plans and, and goals are t with that. We deal with a, uh, with a wide range of customers. Uh, as I said before, anybody from the guy that's just looking to increase his uh, mileage and maybe a little power to towing to the professional racers. So um, in dealing with the racers that are doing a lot of sled pulling and drag racing, we've identified a lot of the weak points in the Duramax engine, and these happen at very, very elevated power levels. But one of the things we ran into is I started to see uh, increased incidences of broken crankshafts. And so it occurred to me that, boy, the next step here is that we're going to need to develop a billet crankshaft to hold back these 1,000 horsepower uh, power levels that we're achieving. And uh, so then the next thought was, well, we can build a billet crankshaft, you know, something in the, like a top fuel car would use. But what fun is building it just to a stock stroke? If we're going to invest all the money, we might as well add a little stroke and increase the size of the motor because there's an old saying in, uh, in the racing industry, uh, there's no substitute for cubic inches. So uh, that's kind of how the stroker kit was born, and uh, we started designing the pistons and the rods and, and the whole assembly, the crankshaft, uh, really into a nice little kit to where somebody that, uh, that doesn't have any engine experience but maybe can you know, disassemble a motor and put it back together can basically buy this kit, and it comes with everything he needs. It's the crank, it's all the bearings, it's pistons, it's rods, it's the flywheel, it's the dampener. Everything is balanced and ready for them to assemble into their, you know, existing short block. They would simply, uh, you know, remove the existing crank rods and pistons and put this new kit right in, and away they go. Well, excellent. Makes me regret being a Cummins owner, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, on that Yeah, note, we actually, uh, we actually uh, had that as far as uh, part of our marketing campaign was, uh, you know, how big is your Duramax? And, of course, the current Duramaxes are 6.6 .6 liter or 402 cubic inches, and this kit increases the displacement to 7.1 liter or 427. And 427 cubic inches, of course, was one of the magic numbers in Chevrolet racing history uh, in that the 427 Corvettes and Chevelles are very, very popular. So part of our ma marketing campaign is how big is your Duramax, you know, see the new 7.1 liter stroker kit, as if the Ford and Dodge guys don't have enough to worry about. <laughs> Exactly. On that note, with the diesel power challenges as of late, the past couple of years, they've been dominated by the Duramaxes. Uh, what, what effect has EFI Live and what effect do you think the Stroker Kit and other SoCal diesel parts uh, have in the future diesel power challenges as well as other competitions, whether it be pole or drag or whatever it might be? Well, it, interesting to note, yeah, they have, uh, they have been dominated by the Duramax. And, of course, EFI Live has been a big, big part of that uh, I'm proud to say that uh, every one of the Duramaxes that have competed uh, in both years have had SoCal diesel cylinder heads and camshafts and were tuned with EFI Live. And, of course, because we were instrumental in bringing EFI Live into the market, we can just kind of sit back and say, wow, you know, what an accomplishment. But uh, it really, EFI Live really took the tuning aspects out of a few select companies and put it into the hands of the end user. And I think... Uh, just like we see on the Internet with Linux and a bunch of other things, anytime we can broaden the base, the end user base, and allow them to 
contribute to the to the knowledge base, we're always going to come out way ahead rather than just a few select engineers at a few select companies that really don't have an idea what the racer is going through at the racetrack level. Yeah, definitely. Well, great. Well, this you know, listening to this might make a lot of people jealous of the Duramax. They might start pondering on how they can convert their vehicle. Uh, to, to a Duramax, what role have you seen? Uh, you know, a lot of people start thinking conversions. Uh, how can I convert mine? How can I put a Duramax in this or that? Um, how have you seen? Have you seen the EFI Life software be used in any conversions like that? Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, I have customers that have used it uh, Duramaxes in uh, a beautiful '70 Chevelle, uh, one in a Buick Grand National. I've helped uh, people do installations in a. Uh, earlier pickup trucks, um, uh, boats actually. It's becoming a very popular uh, conversion into the into the boats, and particularly some of the offshore stuff where guys were used to running, you know, blown big block Chevrolets and had to run a lot of race gas, and uh, they can make the same power with a turbocharged Duramax on diesel fuel as they would on their, you know, real high dollar big block Chevrolets with blowers on them. So, EFI Live, of course, has been the key to doing all this because we can go in and and write those calibrations specifically for those different vehicles and say, look, you know, you're no longer in a three-quarter ton or a one-ton pickup truck. You're now in a Chevelle, and you need to not look at these specific areas that we would in a truck, but now consider yourself a street rod, and, and uh, EFI Live has just been absolutely fantastic at allowing us to do that. Well, excellent. Well, great. Well, we always look forward to what SoCal Diesel has to offer. What Can you tell us anything of what's on the horizon in the next six months, year or so? Uh, that's on the plan or on the drawing board. Oh, you know, I'd like to do that, but uh, <laughs> we don't really know who's listening. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, <laughs> what I can tell you is, uh, you know, keep a look at the at Parley's Diesel Performance website, and of course, uh, you can link from there over to the SoCal Diesel website, and uh, uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep the public informed on what we're up to. All right, well, Guy, we appreciate it, and uh, we look forward to seeing what comes in the future. Thanks very much. I uh, pleasure uh, talking to you. Today.